Hey guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. As you all know, Google has now officially released Android 5.0 factory images for the Nexus 7, Nexus 5, Nexus 10, and several other devices. Today I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install the factory image to update your device to Android 5.0. Right now I'm on a preview build, so I'm going to show you guys how to install uh, the actual official build and it's pretty much the same as what we did last time. So on your device, you'll want to go into settings. You want to go to about tablet. Click on that build number several times. So it says you are now a developer. Then you'll go into developer options. Uh, be sure to check USB debugging. Okay, so once USB debugging is checked, we'll go ahead and plug in our device. Now in order to flash a stock image, you will have to be bootloader unlocked. So if you are not, uh, you will have to type the bootloader unlock in ADB. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set our device to the side for now. Okay, so you will need to grab the stock image. And as you guys can see, there are images now for the Nexus Player, Nexus 9, for the Nexus 5, Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi, which is what we're doing here. Uh, you need to go ahead and download that. I have it downloading right there. Factory images for the Nexus 7. LTE and the Nexus 10, Nexus 7 2012 even has a stock image for 5.0. Okay, once the download is complete, you will go ahead and unzip it. And then you're going to copy the contents of this folder over into uh, your platform tools folder in the SDK. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how to install the SDK or rather how to install ADB and fastboot.exe. Those are the two files that you really need. So we'll go ahead and copy all of these and paste them into that folder. Okay, once that's complete, we can shut down out of that. So we'll open our terminal if we're on a Mac. We'll open command prompt if we are in Windows. Okay, so we'll go ahead and CD into the folder. So for me, it's users, Shane Starnes, desktop Android platform tools. Okay, so uh, then we will go ahead and ADB devices just to make sure that our computer does see our device. And you'll see it's there, but it says unauthorized. On your device, uh, you'll need to accept connection with the computer. Okay, so you'll see this message here. You want to hit always allow and OK. Okay, so now your computer and your device can talk to one another. So we'll go to ADB reboot bootloader. Okay, that's going to reboot us into the bootloader. Okay, so you'll see that we're in the bootloader. Uh, for me, it says that I am unlocked. If you are not unlocked, you can easily rectify that by typing OEM. So you would go fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter, it'll give you a prompt on your device asking you whether or not you'd like to unlock your bootloader. You will select yes, and then it will wipe your memory on your device and unlock the bootloader, and then you can proceed from there. If you're already unlocked, okay, so we will need to, on a Mac, hit dot forward slash flash dash all dot sh, and that will begin to flash the file. So be sure to include on a Mac the dot and forward slash or it's not going to do anything and you'll feel like an idiot. You guys can see I tried several different things. Uh, anyhow, dot forward slash flash all dot sh. On a Windows, you will type flash dot bat and it'll begin to flash the image. So we'll kind of let it do its thing here. It may take a few minutes. As soon as it's finished, we will come back and see uh, what we have. Okay, so when it's finished, it will automatically reboot your device. It takes about uh, five minutes or more to reboot the device, so don't freak out if it doesn't automatically boot up. It is wiping your data, uh, so just be patient, and it will come up eventually. So you'll see that we're greeted with uh, the all-new 5.0 welcome screen. Okay, so one cool part of the setup, sign into Google. It'll ask you if you want to restore your apps and data from uh, a backup that it made automatically. So you can just select whatever you like and hit Next. Go ahead and approve all of the Google services. It's going to go ahead and restore the device. Okay, so once it's finished restoring, we can check our settings. And I did notice here that even though I did sign in, it looks like we don't have the Google Now launcher. It looks like we have the AOSP launcher. If you want all of the animations and effects that you get with the 5.0, you'll just install the Google Now launcher. 
And I think it's funny that every time I download an app, I always see Josh's face because he plus ones everything. He's like all over the Play Store. Pretty cool. I need to start doing that too. We'll go ahead and open that. And we'll select the Google Now Launcher always. And now we get all of the awesome uh, animations that come with 5.0. So if I open up my app drawer, you guys can see that animation. It's pretty cool. And then we also, we already had the new settings uh, from Google Now. If we pull down... You'll see that we have our heads up notifications. We pull down again. We have our quick toggles. So those are just some really quick features of 5.0. If we go into our settings and we go to about tablet, you guys can see that we're on Android version 5.0 and the build is LRX21P. So guys, that about wraps it up for the install guide for Android 5.0 Lollipop, the stock image installation guide anyways for the Nexus 7. This also works on the Nexus 10, Nexus 5 and pretty much go down the entire list and this method will work. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.